Everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Friday, August 20th. Also going to recap the week. Uh, so today, ending the week, ending the week on a green day, plus 737. Uh, I traded three tickers today, Apple plus 323, Netflix plus 188, and Roblox plus 226. Uh, it's nice to have a green day today. been on a little bit of a uh, red streak. On two, uh, didn't trade Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all red, uh, but ending the week strong here. So if we go to uh, the summary here, let me scale this back a little bit. Um, so interestingly, uh, adding, looking at the trading by day of week, you know, what's interesting is, you know, I didn't trade Tuesday through Friday last week and then Monday of this week. So getting back in and came in with three straight red days. Uh, and I've, I've found that to be true other times too. You can see this is a week that I didn't trade, came back with a decent sized red day, did have a green day in there, but then two other red days. So it does, you know, the feel, being in the flow of the market, you know, it is something that is real to me. Maybe it's in my head, but feels real. Uh, so anyway, good to be back on track here. Taking a look at the totals of, of day a week, what's interesting is now Friday uh, is the leader uh, as far as the P&L goes, and Monday is number two. And so Wednesday and Thursday were kind of leading the pack, but had some decent red days uh, in on Tuesdays and Thursdays here. And part of that is... You know, I, I, I've been keeping track of these since the beginning of the year and seeing that, you know, Wednesdays and Thursdays continue to be my best, uh, I would tend to scale up on position size. And you can see I had some big, big losing days uh, on some of those days that I did that. So, um, you know, I think I think just keeping position size consistent is probably the better way to go. Uh, and then, you know, scale up, scale up as you see fit. But uh, interesting just to keep those keep that those data points and uh, and and see how that reflects. So uh, that is the week. Let's go over the trades for today. Let's start with Apple. And so an Apple. So all three of these were runners. I didn't do any uh, pairs trades, didn't do any um, uh, mighty 90s all week. So. Uh, that'll also be a focus to kind of reconsider. I mean, there wasn't very many uh, good Mighty 90 opportunities today, but certainly was uh, earlier this week. Anyway, Apple. Uh, so Apple had this initial weakness, stayed green, bounced all the way back up near highs of the day. So when it pulled back to this pivot, I got long, uh, pushed up. I think when it dipped back down, I, I jumped back in there, I believe. Pushed up. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I, I scaled out. And then when it pulled back here is where I jumped back in. And caught a piece of that as well, and I think I, I think I got it in my last piece around around there, which is good because it did end up tailing off. So that was Apple, good for 3.23 on those. Again, just kept my position size small. Anytime I kind of get in the little streak of red days, what I teach and what I do is I I really just scale down my position size to get back into the flow, which is what I you know should have probably done uh, earlier in the week coming back after not trading for a while. Uh, Netflix, my next trade here, uh, kind of a similar thing to Apple. Started off weak, bounced all the way back up. So when it pulled back to this pivot, got long and caught this move here. Well, it pulled back. I did scale in with some more, looking for another bounce. And when it flushed down there, I just cut out of my last piece. I ended up booking 188 total on Netflix. And then lastly, Roblox. Uh, this was my first trade out of the gate. Had this big push, uh, big volume on that second bar. So when it just pulled back a little bit, got long right here and caught this move, uh, let's see, I think I got out, I, def I definitely didn't catch the whole thing, I think I maybe got out of my last piece up here, anyway, booked 226 on that one. So that is the day, plus 737 on the day, still red for the week, but look forward to being back. We will we'll be offline, not streaming on Monday, but we'll be streaming live the rest of the week, Tuesday through Friday. So look forward to seeing you in the room, talk to you then.